Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I feel like I haven't sat down and filmed the video in so long, especially a favorites video. So it was past due. I'm overdue for a favorites video and that's what we're doing today. When I'm off camera, I'm like scouting for the best products and I'm trying so many different things out. I'm loving things and I'm not loving things. And so this is just like a roundup of all of the products that made it to that love list. I love finding products that work and I feel like if anyone's gonna test things out, it's me because I am I'm so extremely sensitive and I'm very picky. So when I test products out, I make sure to give them enough time and really make sure that I love them before talking to you guys about them. I have makeup, perfume, some lifestyle, skincare. Before we get started though, I just wanna thank you if you're watching this. I know I haven't been consistent enough here on YouTube. I beat myself up about it every single day. Life just, you know, comes at you fast and I go through a lot of things silently, really. My health, my mom's health, the state of the world. I struggle off camera and I never wanna come on here when I'm having really rough days because I feel like you guys are gonna know it and you're gonna sense that I'm not okay so I've been taking the time off to really figure all of that out maybe we could talk about this more in a vlog because I feel like we're all just like question mark question mark question mark when it comes to like life we're all just very much confused or I don't know at least I am and being on social media like being on Instagram sometimes doesn't help because everything just seems so picture perfect and everything just seems to be like okay for other people and so if you're struggling with anything just going on Instagram or going on TikTok or YouTube sometimes it could be a really good distraction but other times it can kind of amplify your insecurities or just your doubt or really anything for me YouTube is always always going to be an outlet both on camera and also just like to watch videos whenever I'm feeling stressed whatever feeling I always come to YouTube because I just feel like it's my first love I love to just wind down and watch YouTube videos that's why I never want to stop making them because they help me out tremendously and anytime I get a comment from you guys saying that I helped you kind of relax or get your mind off of things I feel good about that so I don't want to stop making YouTube videos off camera I really have been trying to do the work and figure out life again I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart if you're watching this if you watch any of my videos thank you I love you I know a ton of you have been you know watching me since the beginning and I'm truly truly grateful for that um, for you not giving up on me so we're not gonna get emotional on this one I love you and thank you thank you for watching so let's get into it I'm gonna start off with skincare because honey my skin was going through it it's been such a journey like I've had months where my skin was okay and then for like the last I would say like four months my skin just went crazy on me and I got a few comments and I want to thank whoever wrote those comments because if it wasn't for them I wouldn't have put two and two together so I was struggling with texture what I thought was texture I kept saying like, you know, I'm so irritated. All products are irritating me. Like what's going on? Even getting facials wasn't helping. It was making it worse. It almost felt like it was spreading. I thought it was maybe like a skincare item I was using or makeup and partially it is. But I got a few comments saying like, have you ever looked into fungal acne? And I'm like, what? And on Instagram now, it's becoming way more popular. I'm seeing it pop up a lot. So it's something that a lot of people are struggling with right now. So partially it is the products. It's certain products can can irritate you if you are prone to fungal acne and I'm on that boat I am prone to fungal acne and that's exactly what I had it was these small little texture bumps underneath my skin that when I would put on makeup it would just accentuate them it would amplify them and I would feel so insecure and I struggled for so long my skin is doing a lot better thanks to a couple of different things but pretty much figuring out that I had that fungal acne problem on my own like without having to go to a dermatologist was key because then I was able to use products that I know like after doing research that would help me with that issue so if you're struggling with those little bumps under the skin like they almost look like clogged pores they look like white heads almost but they don't have a white head they're just like skin tone like look into fungal acne I've gotten milia so this isn't like a milia situation it's literally fungal acne and what you can do is you can go to a dermatologist and they can prescribe you a prescription cream I actually went and got that from an urgent care I asked them to prescribe it to me it starts with an M it's like metrodonazole it's for like fungus on the skin that really really helped I was really down about it it had gotten really bad like my whole cheek was filled with little bumps could kind of see it in certain lighting without makeup but as soon as I would put anything on my face you would just see a ton of texture and it was really getting to me so I was desperate I feel like about every single skincare item out there which don't do that
that but I kind of narrowed down to some products that like don't irritate that fungal acne and so using the prescription cream you could even use like dandruff shampoo on your face again you want to be careful with anything go to a dermatologist and don't be like me like a crazy person and just try things that you see on the internet but I'm letting you guys know though about this because for a while like I just I didn't know what was wrong like I didn't know why products weren't working on me because I was using skincare but it wasn't clearing up besides using prescription creams or using like Nizarol which is like a dandruff shampoo on your face I know it sounds crazy I found again some skincare that doesn't irritate my skin because I have sensitive oily skin so one product that I've been using that is really really nice for clearing texture but also suitable for sensitive skin is the pharmacy deep sweep it's a 2% BHA pore cleaning toner and it has papaya and moringa so if you're familiar with the polish choice BHA toner which I loved for a really long time I still do love it but I have to be careful with it it's become a pretty viral product and I realized that if I use it too often I break out it kind of leaves like an oily feeling on my face and because of that I break out sometimes when I use it so I still use the polish choice but I have to really really spread it out but it's pretty much the same thing as this product but I noticed that with this one I don't break out because again it doesn't leave me that like residue so this is a BHA exfoliant and typically when we use to say exfoliating we used to think like actual physical exfoliants this is a chemical exfoliant it doesn't burn when I apply it which I love I just apply this onto a cotton round and just sweep it along and it literally deep sweeps my face and my pores I don't get any redness or any burning and it controls the oil on my skin and it doesn't leave an oily residue which I love so I highly recommend this pharmacy deep sweep it really has been working for me so when my skin was out of control I was like okay I need to go back to basics and use like the simplest of skincare like even simpler than Cetaphil and CeraVe. I did my research and I found out about Vani Cream that's the brand so I pretty much bought the whole line I have everything that they make the shampoo the moisturizer the cleanser the body cream I mean the SPF like I went Vani Cream crazy you buy this at your local drugstore like you know doing Reed or Target even carries Vani Cream but let me tell you this helped so much it's like super 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 gentle on the skin so if you have really sensitive skin or if you're like wanting to start over with your skincare I would recommend starting with something like this like the whole line it doesn't have any fragrance it doesn't have anything that's gonna strip your skin it's free of dyes fragrance masking fragrance lanolin parabens and formaldehyde releasers non comedogenic and gluten free literally says dermatologist tested some people break out from Cetaphil and CeraVe because they add other things to it you know they have like an acne wash and they have so many different formulas and sometimes you just don't know what to use so if you're on that boat where even like CeraVe and Cetaphil feel like too much for you, try Vani Cream, I'm telling you. This was the starting point of getting my skin back to a more comfortable place because I didn't even want to wear makeup anywhere. There's nothing to be embarrassed of, but I felt so like ashamed of my texture. There was just texture everywhere and you couldn't maybe see it like in good lighting, but it was definitely there. So if you're struggling with texture, if you're struggling with oversensitivity on your face, everything burns or everything breaks you out, or even if it doesn't, you just want to go a more natural route, like something that doesn't have fragrance or formaldehyde or lanolin, things we shouldn't be putting on our face anyway. Vanny cream is the way to go. Love. I brought it all the way back and started to use Dela Cruz acne treatment. Who remembers the sulfur days? I don't know why I ever stopped using this. Well, I do know why. It stinks so bad, but I didn't even know that it came in this type of packaging. I've always used a little tube. It's 10% sulfur. It's antibacterial and anti-inflammatory. clears and helps prevent acne. It's oil-free and water washable. I love the La Cruz Sulfur. It smells really bad. It's yellow, which is mm, and it stinks. Like rotten eggs. It's not a pleasant smell, but for some reason the one in this packaging doesn't smell as bad, but it's still pretty bad. If you can get over the scent, it's so worth it. Again, if you have fungal acne, acne in general, I mean it literally says acne in big letters. This is a Amazing. If you've tried benzoyl peroxide or salicylic acid and those aren't really doing it for you for your, like pimples, try sulfur, especially if you have fungal acne, aka like those little bumps, clogged pores, if you have oily skin, this is amazing. You want to put a towel on your pillowcase if you're going to use it as a spot treatment because again it stinks and I feel like even after you wash it off you still kind of smell it but it's worth it because it really just diminishes any acne. Or you can use it as a mask 
mask and then just wash it off like you could take like a cloth like a wet damp cloth and take it off either way it works it's cheap I love it you can get it on Amazon you can get it at the drugstore in the Latino section always been a fan and always will be a fan <laughs> this is also something that I use for skincare it's this buff I think it's called the buff buff sponge or the buff Woo! called the buff puff sponge or the buff buff sponge but either way they have these sponges on Amazon this one's for the face it's more sensitive they also have one for the body it's dermatologist recommended it's just this little sponge and you're like okay what is that gonna do I got this to use on my arms because I was getting those little bumps it's kind of like KP but it almost felt like scabs on my arms like it just felt so weird it felt like KP that had like scabbed up but it wouldn't go away no matter what I was using so I use this I'm telling you with one use it went down so much so I'm excited to keep using it. You can use it to wash your face with your cleanser. You could have two, you know, one for your body, one for your face. But it worked really well. And I'm telling you, I've tried loofahs. I've tried the dry brushing. I've tried so many things. And my arms just haven't been smooth for a really long time. I don't even remove the hair on my upper arms. So it wasn't from like shaving or anything. I think I just got it from like the sun and like tanning lotions. You can get this one that's more sensitive. It's a little bit softer. Or the blue one that's a little more abrasive. Either way, it works. I love it. So and it's like under $10 really really good highly recommend let's get into makeup the base that I've been loving that I went back to is the Dior face and body I feel like this is such a perfect foundation for summer because it's lightweight but gives you coverage and it doesn't feel like you have makeup on because I cannot stand feeling like I have a mask on my face but I still love coverage I love full coverage I love medium coverage I mean the fuller the better but I don't want to look cakey I for so long was so stubborn and just used my foundation with a beauty blender and no honey we've been converted fully 100% to brushes because it makes such a difference now if you're dealing with texture brushes can be a little tricky now that I've kind of cleared up the texture on my skin I feel comfortable using brushes again but I think for so long I used a beauty blender only because of the texture but now I use both so this Dior face and body I have it in 4WO I could go down one color it's a little Ten for me. It's what I have on right now. I do want to pick up 3WO. The ones with the O have an olive undertone, which I love. It's like that yellowish undertone, yellow golden undertone, but it's lightweight. It lasts so long, and I love applying it with a brush. And the two brushes that I'm loyal to, this Rare Beauty foundation brush, and then the Sephora number 47. I love that they're both angled. They make applying foundation like a dream. And there are concealer versions of these brushes. Both bomb. I recommend both. I think the Sephora one costs less, but if you don't have have either of these try one of them I'm telling you game changer and this foundation so so good let's talk about this new concealer the faux filter concealer from Huda Beauty I have mine in the shade nuggets 2.5 golden obsessed I will say though when you take the wand out you have to be careful because it can kind of like get concealer everywhere for some reason it's just it's kind of like hard to take out but baby the coverage the coverage is phenomenal the finish is beautiful it doesn't look dry doesn't look cakey but it covers so well I always used to go in with two concealers even though I don't even have dark circles I just really really love a bright under eye I don't even have to do that with this one but if you do have darker circles I always recommend getting two shades in a concealer one that's very close to your skin tone and then a lighter one so you use the one that's closest to your skin tone first for coverage and then the bright one to brighten but this one is both for me it gives me the coverage but also brightens and I'm obsessed highly recommend speaking of a bright under eye this one might bother a few people I just love me a good product and this is a really good product it's the brightening and setting palette the squad comes in different colors like shade ranges I think this is a light medium one it has shades um, peach almond light banana and caramel and I pretty much can use any of them they're all brightening enough even though this one looks a little bit deeper it's still very brightening you guys know I love my real techniques setting brush for under my eyes but this one has kind of taken over it's the my kit co pro 0.11 s this combo right here flawless I actually didn't put it on today I literally just like take like all the shades uh, I do of course love the yellow one the most but boom you tap off and then you just brighten this up right in here I love to go upward boom done not cakey not drying doesn't emphasize texture. There's something in this formula that is magical. It literally smooths out your under eye. It's insane. I love it so, so much. This combo is elite, but even if you don't have this brush, but I 
highly recommend this brush but even if you don't get the brush get the palette because I haven't been wowed like that from a palette especially an under eye palette in a long time remember my obsession with the KKW brightening powder this is better my obsession with the Dragon Beauty under eye powder this is better like this is the best under eye brightening palette I feel out there so love that another product you get at Ulta that I fell in love with is this Persona bronze multi stick it's a bronzing stick not a contour stick which we love because I don't really like contour colors they're just way too gray on me this is in the shade dune I've tried so many different cream contours cream bronzers cream contours whatever you know bronzing contouring products either they're too gray on me too red on me too light too dark or they break me out this is neither of those things the shade dune is perfect 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 it's not too RNG but it has enough warmth so it still does kind of contour my cheeks a little bit I do have it on today it blends beautifully the color is perfect it doesn't break me out it's small and compact so perfect for travel I mean highly recommend if you're looking for a quick bronzing stick this is the one I've tried so many I have the rare beauty ones I have the fancy I have pretty much like every cream contour because I'm obsessed with trying to find like the one for me anything with oil breaks me out so when you think cream products they have oil they tend to break me out but this one doesn't so love speaking of creams I want to talk to you guys even though you probably already know about them these cream blushes by rare beauty formula on this is just she killed it. I just picked up a few of these shades to show you. I don't prefer one color over the other because they're all fire. Today I have on Happy, which is this color, which is really, really pretty. A little goes a very long way. So this is the color I have on right now. I love this one, which is called Joy. It's more of a like peachy coral Stunning. If you want more of like a natural cutie blush, Bliss is really nice. It blends into nothing. Like they look so pigmented here, but that's why you only want to use one dot on each cheek and it's enough. Like you don't need to put three dots. Like even if they're small dots, you don't need a lot. I haven't used this one yet. Lucky, but I really want to. Again, they look so scary. They look so pigmented. You're like, I'm going to look like a clown if I put this on my face. But if you just do one dot, one dot, and then blend it with a beauty blender, with your finger, with a brush, they blend it to perfection and they blend down into almost like a matte some of them are a little bit more dewy but they still don't feel wet on the face which i like again i break out easily so we don't want oily cheeks I still like dewy, so I do that with a setting spray, I do that with highlight, but I don't want like an oil on my cheek. Like a lot of the cream blushes that are out right now are just way too oily. And what happens with that is that they don't last. Even if you like like that clean girl aesthetic, like if you want like a minimal makeup look or if you want like a full coverage beat, this goes for both. So I love the Rare Beauty blushes. They're kind of hard to find because they're viral right now. Everyone wants to get their hands on them, so they're always sold out. But I feel like Sephora is really good about telling you once a product comes back in stock, so turn on your email notifications for like a product you really like once you get that email that notification you add it to your cart and check out immediately because if you want it why not let's talk about lips real quick i'm still on my makeup forever and wear caffeine flow you cannot take me off this boat because this is my ride or die i will die if they stop making this this is my favorite anywhere caffeine you already know you already know if you watch my videos like once well said you already know this is my jam but i want to introduce you to a new kid on the block this this is Anastasia Beverly Hills lip liner in cool brown fire. Obviously, it's a lot darker. It's more of a brown where anywhere caffeine is more of like a pinky brown. It's like your lips, but better. So combined, they make such a good team. So my go-to lip is Makeup Forever Anywhere Caffeine. This is what I have on right now. So if you're curious what was on my lips, it's this. So Anywhere Caffeine first, boom, you line your lips. Then you go in with MAC Yash. MAC Yash or MAC Honey Love, I love them both depending on how tan or pale I am. If I'm a little bit more on the pale side, I go with Honey Love. If I'm more of a tan, which I have right now, Yash. MAC Yash. I shall swatch it for you. It's kind of like NYX London, but a little bit less like neutral it has a little bit more of like a pinky which I feel like is flattering and if I want to brighten it like I did today I then go in with MAC Myth and then just to define things you go in with the cool brown the trick is something that's closer to your lips 
you fill in with the lip color, you brighten the center, and then you go in with something darker, in this case it's a darker brown, around it after the lipstick. It just helps you define them because what happens is when you do your lip liner, then you do your lipstick. Sometimes you can kind of hide the lip liner and then you lose the definition that you wanted. So the trick for me is always two lip liners. I don't always use two lipsticks, but if I really want to go in, I use two lip liners, two lipsticks, and boom, you have this really pretty lip. But oh wait, I feel like a bit of commercial right now and I'm like, but wait, there's more. If you want to then top it off with a gloss because you want to be juicy, boom, then you go in with the gloss after. So that kind of just mends it all together. You could even do the gloss, then the darker lip liner. <sighs> I know what you're thinking. That's a lot. But listen, if you want the results, you got to do the work. So lately, I've been obsessing over these lip glosses from Sephora Collection. I have on right now number 11. It's like this bubblegum pink with like a bunch of shimmer super light but it gives you that like brat doll look I guess I love this nudie shade it's really pretty and then I also love this one which I think is called inferno this is their lip plumping formula which is why it has the red cap this one burns if you don't like that burning tingling hot chile feel on your lips don't get the plumping formula because it does like feel a little bit not as bad as like the Too Faced lip injections because I feel like that burns more but it's definitely a tingle and when you kiss your man he'll definitely feel it too but I like this one because it's like like a milky peachy nude it doesn't add too much color but it's just enough and I can use any of those with no makeup over lipsticks I love them for when I'm not wearing makeup I've been obsessed with this Lawless Forget the Filler Lip Plumping Line Smoothing Gloss this one's in Cherry Vanilla it's a new shade I talked about the pink one I think on Instagram stories only it's a bright bright bubble gum pink and that one's really cute to give you like a pink tint to your lips but I like this one more so this is cherry vanilla and literally smells like cherry vanilla it smells so good and it gives you a rosy tint to your lips it's amazing it does also tingle I don't feel like these lip plumpers really do much as far as like plumping I just feel like any gloss kind of gives you like a plumping look because they just look juicy but they do tingle like the lip plumpers do tingle a little bit but I really love this for the tone that it leaves like it looks so dramatic here you're like Rose you would never wear something like that but once it's like blended or like sheared out on your lips it's so pretty and just gives you just enough because over time like your lips kind of lose their pigment they lose that like juicy pinky look to them that's why people do like the lip blush thing like the tattoo on the lips to give them color I prefer using like products to get that look and I love this let's talk about some smell goods because you know I love to smell good this is from Walmart it's the juice good energy body mist I reach for this every night like right before bed or right before I go run errands I like crave this scent feel like it really brings the good vibes to my life like it makes me feel happier when I put this on it smells like a body splash that I used maybe like in high school this doesn't make me feel like cheesy for wearing it it smells fresh and fruity and like yummy and youthful but just not cheap it smells so so good I highly recommend smelling it just for like a quick body splash like for the gym for running errands they have other scents but this one's my favorite I did smell the pink one but the good energy one is it and I love the packaging too it's so cute I just keep it by my vanity and I'm always reaching for it another perfume that I've been loving clearly I've been using this baby up is the Giorgio Armani Ocean it's very clean fresh aquatic it almost smells like shampoo but I love it I brought it with me to the Dominican Republic as like my fragrance for the trip I felt so fresh and clean it literally brings me to the water it makes me feel like I'm at the beach or at the pool I love it for the summer and I feel like I'm almost out of this bottle I might have to pick up a bigger size because I have been obsessed with that this was pricier but if you're into more of like a feminine scent this is Delina from Perfumes and Marley but it's Delina La Rose and I am not a rose fragrance fan which is ironic because my name is Rose this one's just rose done right there's something like powdery about it exquisite ex Expensive. I feel expensive. I mean it was expensive, but I feel expensive when I wear it I feel like when I walk out with this I feel confident girly and like powerful This just gives me all the feels I took off the tassel <laughs> of mine and I kind of regret it But it was just like annoying to always open up the bottle It has like a tassel that it comes with but now I miss it. Why am I like this? I also brought this one with me in an automizer and I went through it like in the first three days Like I had like a small travel bottle that I sprayed this into and I just couldn't stop wearing it It's such an addicting fragrance and out of all of the Delinas, this is 
my favorite out of pretty much all of the perfumes that Marley. If you're ever like at Nordstrom, Saks, I think, or Bloomingdale's, wherever they sell perfumes at Marley, they definitely sell it at Nordstrom. Smell it and report back to me. If you bought it on the spot, I don't blame you. It's that good. And the last fragrance, again, I'm sorry, it's a little bit of a pricier one, but I reach for this so often. It's Bond number no. 9 Greenwich Village. And don't come for me, but I think I even like it better than Baccarat by Mason Francis. It's so creamy and it just smells so rich. Anyone I put this onto just goes out and buys it. There's just something so special about it. It's literally one that I reach for a lot. If I want to feel really good, I bring this out because it makes me feel all the ways I'm obsessed. If you ever have Bloomingdale's, smell this. I want to share with you my obsession with Skims panties. I mean, Skims everything. There was a time where like I had to stop myself because I was ordering on Skims every other week. Like it was a problem. And like, yeah, they take, I don't know, Klarna or Afterpay, but it was getting out of control. And if you're not careful with your Skims items because they're so soft and delicate, like I feel like if you get like oil splash on them, like on the shirts, like this shirt is a skim shirt. You gotta be careful with it because it's not cheap. And I feel like you can stain them easily if you're not careful. But the panties, so the boy shorts and the thongs, just trust me when I say you need them because I don't even want to ever put on a Victoria's Secret panty ever again and it's a problem because these are a little pricier they're three for 36 I believe on the skims website my favorites are the thong I think it's the everyday thong or the fits everybody thong I will link them for you and then the boy shorts Comfy, comfy, comfy. I'm trying to switch over to just using the boy shorts because it's just better for you overall. It's more comfortable and it's just like more hygienic. Definitely something different for me, especially because I love wearing leggings. So I don't like to see the lines. And even though they're like a seamless material and so soft, like you literally feel like you're wearing nothing. Sometimes you can see the bottom of the boy short. But at this point, I don't really care because I'm comfortable and I feel good in them. They just, the material is like no other. You have to try it for yourself to really know. So if you know, you no, Skims underwear, enough said. Another fave of mine that I cannot get off of me is my robe from Amazon. It's like this waffle robe. It's in this really pretty like nude beige kind of color. This makes me feel like I'm at a hotel. It's just so cozy and I like worn it in so it feels extra soft and it's on Amazon. It's not like super flattering, but like what robe is. Like, I always feel frumpy in a robe, but I don't really care. It's to be comfortable and I always put this one on. I was obsessed with the Skims one, but it's a little too chunky for me. I realized that I like a lightweight robe better. I still love the skims. It's so soft, but this one, just something about it being so thin, but still cozy, but still comfy, but not hot. It's just amazing. I roll up the sleeves. I have the shorter length one because they have one that's a lot longer, but I'm five feet, so I don't need a super long robe. I love getting ready in it. It's giving. I need to get it in white because I'd be wearing this thing to the ground. I definitely am getting my use out of it. Highly recommend it from Amazon. Of course, there'll be links so you can actually see what it looks like on. If you trust my judgment, bomb. Something else that I don't give a break to. These are my everyday shoes. I'm obsessed. They're so comfortable. Clearly, I wear these because they are not clean, but so comfy. I have them, I think, in five colors, but the black is my favorite because they go with everything. It's more of like a gray and black. Obsessed with the little like touches of orange. They look dope on your feet. Like you look cool, but you're also really comfortable. I'm all about supporting my ankles because your girl don't need to be out here like risk it all for a pair of shoes, for a pair of sneakers. Like sneakers should be comfy. They stretch so much you don't even have to untie them that's how comfy they are to me they run true to size so i get my normal woman's six but i have heard that people go down a size because they say they run big but if you have a little bit of a wider foot i would just do true to size because i don't know they're just like a sock so they kind of like form to your foot and like expand where it needs to but i don't want like a tight shoe like in the front especially if you get like gel nails on your toes if you know you know <laughs> like the nail is a little long so you don't want like your toe hitting the front of your shoe you want a little bit of space but anyway i'm upset I pretty much only wear this shoe style and Yeezys because they're also super comfortable. Comfort over everything, but you don't have to compromise style when you choose comfort. You still could look stylish, but you still could be comfy. And my last favorite is my new baby, my new bag. This is the Marc Jacobs tote bag. I got it in the black leather. I needed a good everyday bag that could fit my laptop, could fit my mini iPad. I mean, any bag kind of fits the iPad, but, but mainly for my computer. I wanted a bag that I could 
could wear to go to the city or to go to a cafe and bring my laptop and like my Celine fits my laptop but it's just so heavy and I don't really feel comfortable like wearing that on an everyday basis so I needed something not as expensive as my Celine or my Goyard which I have right there and right there the Goyard these straps are a little bit thin on it so if you put a lot of weight on it it can kind of hurt after a while so I still love both of those bags they're just for different occasions like every bag calls for a different occasion so this is my like work out of home work bag because I work from home but sometimes I want to edit at Starbucks or edit in the car so I needed a bag that I could bring my laptop and this fit the bill I am obsessed she's so pretty she goes with everything you could wear this crossbody which I do like if I want to free up my hands this bag fits a lot I don't have much in it right now I just have my wallet and like this little bag that I carry like beauty stuff in but typically that's all I really carry in there and then like my iPad or my laptop but if it's so much it has a zipper I love the gold detailing I also love that these handles right here are big enough to fit on my arm I can also wear this strap on my shoulder or crossbody so there's different ways to wear it or you can just carry it like in your hands but it just makes me feel like a girl boss it makes me feel put together and I love the black pebbled leather I got this one online I think from Bloomingdale's I want to say but obsessed and I highly highly recommend if you're in the market for a new bag for school for work or just for like everyday errands love and it's been the hottest minute since I did some music favorites so shall we Kitty me pregunto si tengo mucha novia mucha novia me la voy a llevar la toa con VIP con VIP ay saludos you guys enjoyed it don't forget to leave me a comment don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already also if you're not following me on instagram i would love if you would go follow me there i'm always posting on stories beauty related things non-beauty related things restaurants vacation things like i'm pretty active on stories i genuinely love creating stories and talking to you guys through dm i feel like we're besties on instagram so follow me on there thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye guys